Hi, Bucktube. Merry Eve of Christmas Eve. My daughter is sitting here, and she doesn't want to have anything to do with this. So I'm going to try to cringe it up a bit. More so than usual. Yeah, she doesn't care. Okay. Um, so I was thinking um, about Christmas and my Christmases as a child. And I remember for um, about like three years like every single Christmassy thing that I could possibly want or think of had to do with video games. And um, it's when I had a Sega Master System or um, I think in the UK it was a Mark III or something like that. Um, but anyway... <clears throat> so, to get to more of the written word, um, the other day I was remembering um, the newsletter that they had, um, and as you can see right there, the Team Sagan newsletter, Fall 1988. This is the first one I got, and um, it was mailed to my house. You didn't have to pay for it. It was a free little newsletter thing, and um, it was awesome. And I, because I had to, like, think I was better than all my friends with Nintendos and stuff, <clears throat> um, I would always go, like, <laughs> like, Nintendo Power you have to pay for. Um, but I didn't know then that before they did that, they had a newsletter that was free as well, but whatever. Um, anyway, so I don't have these anymore, but I remember like reading them over and over and over again. Um, so I was about nine or ten around this time. And um, what do you call it? Uh, I, I don't have these anymore, so I... On a whim, I, w I just went online looking to see if there were PDFs of them anywhere. And sure as poo, okay, um, they only did, I think, seven or eight of them. But they're all on archive.org. So what I'm going to do now is um, go through these and tell you all the things that I wanted for Christmas, I guess, in 1988. Um, because this was pretty awesome. So, right off the bat, obviously, Thunderblade was, um, a big deal. It was like a helicopter shoot 'em up kind of thing. Um, ooh, look at that. Terrence Macaroni? From Stanton Island, New York. Oh my gosh. Um, and then they had a little thing for Fantasy Star in here too. You could see the mold on the page. It's kind of gross. Well, I ended up not getting Thunderblade for Christmas, but my friend did. The one friend that I talked into getting a Sega. Um, so we could share games. Um, so he got it. So it was almost like I got it. <clears throat> but then check this out. Now you've got it made with Pro Play Home Arcade. Look at this. I wanted this so flipping bad. And, um, oh my gosh, I was, I would always like, I'm like, oh my gosh. I could just see my little um, Sega in there. And then me and my friend, um, who got um, Thunderblade, actually, we um, drew out schematics to just build one ourselves so we didn't have to pay for it. Look at how high this dude's pants are down here. Those are some high pants. He's not messing around. 
Um, but what I didn't know back then was that, um, like Sega had its own, um, joystick kind of thing, but for some stupid reason, the joystick was on the right side and the buttons were on the left. And so my buddy was going to, um, build this cabinet with the Sega controllers in it. And we got into a big fight over it, and um, we ended up never making it because we just couldn't agree on real joysticks or Sega joysticks. So as you can see, things got pretty, pretty chaotic there. Um, and this cool guy is like the editor, I guess. Let's see what he says. Um, oh. Oh, he's the Sega Team Kahuna. Huh, look at that. And you could have named the newsletter. Didn't do that. Um, But I used to just freaking love this stuff. And I remember I sent in letters. And they never made it in any of the issues that I got. Um, But this was great because it had like little tips and you could send in questions and stuff. So that was pretty cool. And then it was basically just a bunch of ads. Like Carmen San Diego, who cares? And this was kind of fun. I always thought that all the art was crap that people sent it. How us old folks found out about new video games. We would pay $7 and they would send us a VHS tape of levels being played from these games. Pretty cool, huh? Internet schminternet. Yeah. I said it. Um, and it's so funny because I just played Thunderblade today for like the first time in like a gajillion years. And I never knew what this was. I didn't know what that meant, but um, Sawyer is the guy's last name. The Kahuna guy. And says is just his super hip TNC surf designs way of saying things. Yeah, double dragon. Now I remember A, this eyeball with the wings, I thought was the coolest thing in the world. Like, seriously. Um, and I remember I thought this cartoon girl was really cute. When I was 10. Um, so that was fun. Kind of cringy over there, huh? No? Okay. Um, and I wanted this game so bad basically for that eyeball. And then down here... Yeah, there's like this little part right here. Now, I cannot stand RPG... Like straight RPG video games. They're so boring to me because you don't do anything... You just, I want to talk. I want magic or whatever. So I don't know if if I would have got this game, if I would have been better with these kinds of games, or if it was a good thing that I didn't end up getting it. Well, so far, we are um, zero for two of things that I wanted for Christmas. Gosh, Mom... You know what? My friend got Carmen San Diego too, and I thought that was kind of stupid. Hmm. Okay, but here's the coming soon. Okay. Look at how '80s this is. Like that little like triangle off the rectangle thing. Yeah. Um. Okay. So these were the games that were coming out in the winter. And I assumed it was for the Christmas season. R-Type. I wanted R-Type so bad. So bad. So bad. Did I get it? I don't know. Might be a spoiler. Um, but I'll tell you, my friend got Reggie Jackson Baseball. And California Games. I wanted California games. Didn't really care about Reggie Jackson baseball. 
and I want an Altered Beast. But that didn't come out till spring, so this was going to be a birthday present. I was on top of this. I knew how this worked. Gizmo, if you don't go away from me right now, Gizmo. go do something. Oh my gosh. So awful. Oh, the... 3D glasses. My friend had the 3D glasses. I'm beginning to realize that my friend had a lot more cool crap than I did. I'm a little upset right now. I always thought I had the better end of the deal. But, um, judging by this, and I never got any of these cool shirts or anything that were probably really naff. Ooh, okay, get ready for this. I wanted the Zinger and the Zoomer. I really did. And then this one was wireless. Wireless controllers were like a brand new thing. Not super brand new, because I know the Atari had one kind of. It had a big antenna on it. It was awful. Um, oh, yeah. That would have been cool. Didn't get any of them. In case you're wondering. Um, this looked cool. Um, this game, Power Strike, you could only get from this magazine. Didn't get it. Hmm. So, yeah. That is um, my Christmas 88. Now let's go back here. I did get R type. I'll I'll ruin it for you there. I got R type. Waka waka waka. So that was okay. Um, yeah. So I guess that'll do it with this installment of what I got for Christmas and what my friend ended up getting that was better than me. Um, so maybe I'll do another one of these tomorrow. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, BookTube. If you, hey, if you know of any super cool things you got as a kid, this is what makes my daughter and her friends laugh when I go like this. Go ahead and leave it down below, down in here, and let me know about it. I'm such a nerd. Huh. Yeah, she's shaking her head. She won't even say it out loud. Um, she might run for city council someday, and she doesn't want to be associated with this channel. So, um, yeah. But anyway, so let me know of any things you wanted and didn't get, or cool things that you did get, because <clears throat> nostalgia is really fun. And um, I was able to do this with some form of literature, so that was kind of neat. So, um... Okay, guys. Happy Eve of Christmas Eve. <laughs>